Although I just moved you. Oh, that's not a good idea. All right, maybe we should retreat. Y'all want to leave? All right, get get out of here. Larry and Gary, that's the only ones that are left. All right, let's go. Let's get out. Outskis. I think just about every kid at some point has imagined what if my figurines came to life? And this is the concept that Wartile plays with. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of the way I felt about this game, but uh, it also kind of gives me the vibe of like more of a an actual like live action interpretation of uh, the way D&D &D kind of is played. Uh, but anyways, so we're just going to jump into the gameplay, uh, talk about a few things. So we start off with these just beautiful, beautiful blocks. Uh, we'll see cards pop up for this specific mission. As you can see, there's a bunch of enemies over here because uh, we are playing one of the one of the starting. We're actually still playing one of these starting um quests I guess you could say uh, but it's it's a little bit harder so there's different tiers of the quests that you can take on this is the second tier so uh, things are already getting pretty tough now for this one uh, it looks like we only have access to we well it doesn't look like it we only have uh, two figurines that we can bring into battle so I've got this spearman here who has uh, his own statistics actually this is the spearman so he we can look at uh, some of his attributes here in the left hand corner and uh, we've got my guy with the shield so I've been doing you know, I've been investing... Okay, these guys are coming after me, so I need to get ready. Hold on. So I'm going to talk and play at the same time. Um, we There is a cooldown. We can't just, like, rush in to uh, certain spots. I think we'll be okay like this. So basically, everybody has their own attributes. Um, and as we level up, we get more and more um, skills that we can invest in. And so I have this guy invested, like, fully into defense. And this guy fully into attack. Because, you know, since he's a spearman, he has that extra range. And this is pretty much the combination that we're going to be doing with uh dealing with i guess so we also have these cards in the corner there's a unique card all the way in the right hand side uh that each figurine gets uh themselves uh, and then there's kind of these overall deck cards that we can pull from that uh we get to set in the menu screen and i'll kind of go over that briefly but anyways so we went we you know we did pretty well so far and i'd like to just stay in this corner honestly um so height gives an advantage, as you can see. I don't know if that's much of an advantage, but uh, height does help. Uh, and since we're kind of, kind of having them come to this pass, that really helps too. Because obviously, if they surround us, we're not going to be in a good situation. Uh, only having two dudes here, they will surround us and we will die. Look at that. So that was that was really nice. Uh, these little points that we're collecting means that uh, I'll be able to draw more cards from my deck. So I could use one of these. I could I could heal a unit right now, uh, or I could use my war horn, horn which uh, war horn, <laughs> war. I don't I don't know. That sounded sexual for some reason. Anyway, so I can drag to a friendly unit and uh, increase the defense and attack. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna increase the defense and attack. We draw a new card because uh, I've been getting kills. Uh, we're continuing to gather up these points, and you need the points to draw uh, and to use new cards. So I can trap these guys. Let's go ahead and try this out just to just to show it off. So as soon as someone uh, steps on this tile, they're gonna be trapped. They're gonna that's, that took like half his health, and then bam. So that was pretty nice. Now that might have been a waste. We probably didn't need to use it because I think we're doing fine for the most part. Um, okay, let's wait for this last guy to come in. Maybe this is not, you know, this is probably not a strategy that I would need to use, um, but it's working really well. Oh, by the way, there's also this nice slowdown effect, which I think is really, really cool. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and speed it up because we don't need it to be that slow. And uh, now you did. All right, so we're pretty good so far. I think I want to heal up my uh, my shield dude. He's just a warrior. He's basically just a warrior, but I've been, I've been investing a lot of my skill points, basically his skill points in defense because I knew that this was the combination we needed to go with. Um, okay. So yeah, we need to make it all the way down to the bottom and we need to, uh, destroy all these boats in this specific quest. And, uh, there's also a little bit of, uh, yeah, so there's an objective card, skull of hell heal. I don't know. This guy is this big old dude, which I actually already beat him. Uh, it's like this big guy, which by the way, we can also select on uh, enemy stats and kind of get a view, kind of get an idea, a strategy on what we want to take here. So this guy has pretty much is just a really big dude with a bunch of health. That's what I can see if you click on some of these other ones. That's all he's really getting benefit wise. But I've already stolen his armor and I, oh, holy crap, was not expecting that. Um, what happened here? Oh, dude, what is this? Oh, I've got someone here to help me, it looks like. Anyways, uh, we need to pay attention. <laughs> Drew needs to pay attention. Okay, so let's just go up in here. We're going to go into the cave, and we're going to... Holy crap, dude. All right, this is not good. Uh, we need to get ready for this. Let's get my spearman in place. Oh, that's not the position you're supposed to be in. Uh, there we go. There we go. Very nice. Now, there's a cooldown. I can't just move these guys whenever I want. Holy moly. Let's do the heal. Uh-oh, this ain't good. 
This ain't good. Uh, let's go and heal. And now I don't have the... Oh, I can't use this guy. There's a trap here in the corner that I need to be careful of. Yeah, so I don't have any points. We're... I think we'll be okay. As long as we... If we just get this kill... I'm going to back up for a second. There we go. That way he's not taking any damage. Because my Spearman has, like, no health. So we also have the high ground, which is affecting... Which is giving us a nice little bonus. Uh, mend wounds. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. He didn't need to mend his own wounds. And I can do the shield push. push. So this is a, uh, a unique... Um, a unique card that I could use that probably would have worked. But I didn't use it. Alright, so there's a lot of dead people popping up. That ain't too good. Uh, we need to get some more points here or else we're not going to make it. <laughs> Alright, whoa. Okay, well, at least we've got this guy cornered. Nice. Alright, so my little warrior is not doing too good. Uh, let's just call him Jerry. Jerry is not going to make it very long. Jerry and Gary. Gary is much better. I don't know where I came up with those names, but... Oh, did you... Are we fighting somebody? Oh, oh, we actually fell into a trap. Are you dead? No way. Did you just die? Because I... Oh, I think I stepped on a trap and that dude died. Oh, we're screwed. We are so screwed. Okay, let's stay behind this rock. I don't think this big enemy can... I don't think he can hit us across... Oh, well, he's just going to move. There you go, Drew. <laughs> Alright, well, we are screwed. We're screwed for this mission, at least. Now, I can still... Ooh, here we go. Now, I can still possibly pop a... Um, if I kill this guy, I would have done a little bit of my objective. I honestly don't fully know why I'm getting these these dead people just popping up. I'm not sure if that is like, uh, I think it might be a part of my helmet that I'm wearing. We just, I think that's what it is. Yeah. That's kind of crazy here. I'm going to give you a card. Boom. Very nice. So I can get, no I can get that helmet again. Hey, we're looking pretty good. Okay, so you're just going to stay there. Uh, I'm going to give you your unique card so that mend wounds. Oh, you're doing fine. Oh, I just used it. Okay. So let me get... Oh, because I already have it, I don't think I, I can get it again. I wonder if I could have got it with another person. Okay, so we're going to be cornered, and I, I think I think more enemies can pop up uh, from these boats until we destroy the boats. I, I thought they could continue to pop up, but we'll see. Okay, come on. Get the kill. Get the kill. There's also these chests that we can grab some gold from. And when we go back to the menu, we'll talk about uh, some of the things we can use with gold. Let's just make sure that we go over here and see. Yep, they're going to pop up. New ones are going to pop up. So that's not good. Here, I'll give you this card. At the very least, if we could destroy like a boat, that would be nice, right? Or maybe I can run around like a chicken with his head cut off and just try to, <laughs> and just try to move around all these enemies. Okay, let's destroy this boat. Very nice. Oh, man, this kind of sucks. Uh, we probably do want to stay in the corner, to be honest. Because these guys all don't have shields. They're just like these dead people. So, uh, if we stay in the corner, we could probably do okay. Uh-oh. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. Here we go. So, I'm going to use my, uh, my, sh my mending of wounds for a second. Oh, I think you were stunned, weren't you? Come on, little skeleton guy. We're going to need your help. You're not even a skeleton, are you? <laughs> I don't know what the hell you are. You're just really ugly. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you like that. You're actually helping me stay alive for a little bit here. All right. And uh, and we're probably dead. I'm, I'm cornered. This is the problem with being cornered. At least get the kill. At least get another kill here. This is a big dude. Is, is this guy stronger than the others? Oh, yeah, he is. I'm fighting another big guy. Oh, well, yeah, that's that would explain it. Oh, man, this guy is taking some damage. We're also... Oh, here we go. Okay, run. Run. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, so anyways, that was I just kind of wanted to show off this level. It's still pretty fun. Um, oh no, try again. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. So let's go back into the menu screen. So basically, we've got this map of Europe here. Um, it looks like we're going to be dealing a lot with uh, Scandinavia uh, for the very beginning levels. So we were in, I don't know, is this Oslo? I'm going to guess that's like Oslo. Uh, and there's two different quests we could do in this city. But there's also another one uh, that we can take all of our figurines. Right now, I've got three figurines. Um... And basically, this is what I was talking about. So I can select this guy. Uh, we don't have any extra armor. I've, I've, I'm using all my armor. And we can set certain attributes to help out, you know, whether it's his health or his damage or um, his, his effectiveness of, uh, of increasing, yeah, of deflecting attacks, things like that. All really, really help. Uh, and then here's my, shield, or, or my cards. So this is how we can kind of get more cards. Uh, right now, I've got to unlock more cards and then put it into my deck, which maybe I should go with more healing cards now that I think about it. 
That's probably overall the best. Do I even have? Yeah, there we go. You know what? I, I don't think I need the trap as much. That's That was pretty useful, but uh, I'm going to go with three healing cards instead now. And uh, let's start off with a... Yeah, let's do a quest that requires all three. Uh, all three of my figurines. I don't like that. Like that one's all the way back there. Yeah, that bald dude, not very good. We'll call him Larry. Larry's pretty bad, so... <laughs> So he's just, he, I just haven't really used him that much, so I haven't really been able to give him more upgrades. So this is a really kind of beautiful map in the snow. So uh, search the deep caves and steal the voice of the gods. What does that mean? Uh, and we also have to get someone's war horn. Search the deep caves and steal, steal something. All right. So uh, this one is going to be pretty tough too. Uh, I probably should play it a little bit more strategically here rather than just like talking and stuff like that But uh, we should consider this guy has a bow so he will be able to shoot us from this archer tower uh, I don't know if these guys can hit us though. We'll have to wait and see. I really like how the how these guys How the, ro the roofs kind of move up. What is this? Okay, so here's kind of a, an objective card And then here's a chest that I can get more gold purchase some more fig figurines in the future or some armor or things like that That would all be pretty useful. Okay, so I think what I want to do is actually move straight into here. Uh, I know the baddies can pop out of this door. So I'm going to stay away from the archer tower. The archery tower. Is this another quest card? Yeah, okay. So I will do that. Thank you very much, good sir. Uh, let's just be very, very careful. So I, I think it was kind of obvious that the red represents my health, the red circle. And, um, and then there's also this white line. Once that's finished, we can uh, we can move our character again because it's kind of a cooldown on movement, which is is smart. Is smart. It's kind of weird. It's almost a real time strategy, but at the same time, not. Uh, all right, let's let's scoot up and kill these guys. I knew I wasn't going to be able to sit on the outside um, for very long because those archers would just totally kill me. Can you do something? Oh, you're too far away. I've got to make sure that I'm slanted. This guy's already not doing very well. Oh, he's taking shots from two different people. I could heal you. Yeah, we're probably going to need to do that. All right, let's use a card, too. I need to use more cards. Shield push. Bam. All right, cool. So we have got some, we've got some time here to get this kill. And he's got a cooldown, too, from me pushing him away. And he's not even being used right now. Perfect. All right, so let's get this kill right here. You're screwed. Is there anything in here? Is there just gold? Oh, no, there's... There's a way. Oh, my God. Is that the one ring? Is that is that Sauron's ring? Kind of looks like it to me. All right. I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything else in this in this little cave. Uh, at least we can get some more kills. Obviously, kills are good. This is the this is the point system that we use to draw new cards. I got like some sort of a skull or something like that. It's kind of cool. And uh, 10, 50 gold. 50 gold. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I don't think I can bust through here. Sometimes if you set your uh, figurine next to something. Yeah, okay, there you go. Then it will automatically start to break it down. Can I break this one down? No. All right, let's get ready. Oh, maybe you can break this down. Oh, it just took you a while. Perfect. Okay, good. Because I didn't want to go back outside, man. Those archers would totally kill me. All right, let's go, Jerry. Let's go, Jerry. Take your time. I mean, I don't, maybe I shouldn't say take your time. We need to get ready. Because right when we open this up, I guess they don't even hear this. They don't hear this loud noise at all. Come on, get up in there. Uh, we're being shot at. We need to be careful. Oh, boy. Do I have anything? Do I need to heal anybody yet? Let's use some unique cards here. Shields. There we go. And then... Ba oh, crap. He Oh, he died. <laughs> He's dead. All right, come on, baby. I feel like he died really fast. What do you have? Men wounds? No, let's chill. Oh, this was not the right area to pop through. Yeah, this was not good. Should we leave? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about it. I mean, I can keep healing this guy. There we go. Now, I can sit here and just do that all day. Right now, we're only fighting one, but he does have the high ground. He's, I think he has a slight high ground. This is giving him a, a bit of an advantage. That's probably why we were so screwed that first time. All right, you know what? I'm going to try to move you. Let's get you right there. Moved you. Oh, that's not a good idea. All right, maybe we should retreat. Y'all want to leave? All right, get, get out of here. Larry and Gary, that's the only ones that are left. All right, let's go. Let's get out. Outskis. Uh, now, enemies will pop up. They might chase us down, which we have to be careful of. Um, 
I don't even know what this shield... I gave him seeking cover behind your shield. Oh, okay, plus 20 defense. That's pretty nice. Oh, man. When is this guy going to start shooting on us? Good. Good from here. Let's move a little bit far forward. I think we're fine as long as we don't engage these guys. Oh, nope. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is not good. And we got that cooldown. Well, I could probably kill this guy, though. We do have a shield. Can I go up in there? Yeah, cool. Bam. All right, let's 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 kill him. Now that I'm thinking about it, we probably should have stayed outside. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so wait a second. Do I want to use the heal? Yeah, the heal is probably a little bit better. Let's use the heal for you, and then we get quite a bit of points from that. There's also this cave system, which is interesting. Man, I can't believe like one of my best guys died like in the very beginning. What is up with that, Drew? Come on, you failed. All right, let's get this chest. Oh, what is? Oh, this thing does something. What do you do for us? You do anything? Yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, either way, do I want to? I don't want to take on these guys. That's for sure. <laughs> let's go in here. I guess. I I guess so. And I gotta remember my own unique card uh, for the spearman is I can heal myself. All right, I'm getting some gold out of this level. Now, I think I can also retreat. I could retreat and and uh, and leave. I think with the N button, which I thought was kind of strange that I could just do that. All right, let's see if we can do this, though. Hold on. Let's hold off, hold off for a second. What are your... Oh, that's not good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. We're finally doing that thing again. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and heal this guy. Mend wounds. That did not give you back much health. All right, I need to I need to back him up. You kind of come there. Nice. Okay, okay, this is all right. Let's get some points though. That's fine. My little skull dude's dead, but oh yeah. Oh, we screwed. We real screwed right now. I think, <laughs> possibly. Yeah, let me get this kill. Oh, that's not good. I'm dead. Oh no! Load waypoint. No, let's 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 back out, and uh, I can probably show. Um, but but well, actually, what I'll do is uh, I might kind of buff up some of my characters over the break, and uh, and so like there's also one other one that you'll be able to start off on, which is uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, so the holy place located deep into yeah so we pretty much go into the same map that we did the first part of this video and sacrifice like a lamb or something like that i don't know some crazy some crazy shit but uh yeah i think i'll kind of uh raise up my stats for some of my characters and we will try again in the next video now just to be clear what i should have done is left the match when things got really really bad by hitting the uh end key so that way you still retain the the bonuses or objects that you might have stolen away um, but I still kind of wanted to show off the game uh, in this first video. But in the next video, uh, we'll definitely be doing that, especially in that snow level. Getting a bunch of kills, trying to steal some items away, and then just getting the hell out of there. So that'll, that'll definitely help us out a little bit more. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.